So when you see it boiling like that, then just stop because the food is finished. It's that simple. This is dry corn proudly grown here in the state of Texas. And I'm gonna put it in this bucket. This is gonna soak for three days. It's for a pop. I will let this corn soak in the bucket for three days and then we will be back. So now it's day three of the pop, the corn soaking. So now let me drain the liquid that's in there. Now I'm gonna rinse the corn. take the corn that's been soaked and put it in the blender, add some water and blend it. together I will add it into here now it's time to strain the pulp from the corn mixture just put it over your strainer you can use a spoon or your hand of course make sure you have clean hands Now that I've strained all the pulp into here, I'll get rid of it or probably feed it to my birds out there. We will let the pop settle to the bottom and then we'll drain all the liquid and then we'll have the pop to enjoy. So now it's the next day with the, the pop mixture. So now I'm going to strain all the water off of it and squeeze it in my uh, squeezing cloth. Keep squeezing it till all the water is gone on the inside. So there's the pop all squeezed from the water. I'm gonna combine them together like little rounds like this and then put them in a Ziploc bag and then I will freeze them. 
We actually have some African families that I'll share this with because this is going to be too much for my family. Now they're finished, I will preserve them in the freezer. So here's the pop, so now I'm gonna add water, mix it until it's liquefied. So you bring water to a boil in a pot. See like there, there's a boil. I'm gonna add sugar. Sugar to how much you want for your taste. If you don't want a lot of sugar, that's fine. Or if it's not gonna be a lot, if it's not a lot of sugar, then you can add some more at the table when, you eat it, when you're eating it. So now I'm going to add the pop stuff stirring it up a little bit and then I'm going to add it into slowly into the water and stir at the same time that you're pouring So when you see it boiling like that then just stop because the food is finished it's that simple Bless this food in the name of Jesus. May we have a good day and thank you, Lord, for providing for us. In Jesus' name, amen. This reminds me of my childhood. Thank you so much for making this about it. You're welcome, and handsome. Guys, like and subscribe to Tiffany's page. God bless you. Bye. So thank you for watching this episode of The Seasoning Angels where we made homemade pop. I hope it brings back such wonderful memories of your time eating pop when you were a kid. And I hope you enjoy this video. You make it and you continue to watch me on Facebook and YouTube and subscribe please and give us thumbs up everyone say goodbye and thank you thumbs up bye, bye. bye. bye.